hydrate after an activity, but also before and during the activity as well. Well, maybe your activity is going to be to go to the Big Butler Fair. It opened at 11 o'clock this morning and is rolling strong already, Ron. What about the weather for the fair and all the activities going on this weekend? Well, overall, it looks fantastic for the fair uh, over the next week, really into next weekend. But we do actually have this weekend a first alert weather day that comes in on Saturday. Strong storms. Now, things have been changing just a little bit on Saturday, and the big thing that's been changing has been the timing of all of this. If you remember yesterday, I had it 4 to 8 o'clock. Bumped it up to two o'clock early now. I have it up at noon that we could see those strong storms uh, starting to arrive. So strongest storms noon. I want to keep it through eight o'clock in the evening hours. Data shows again uh, that risk of tornadoes is going to be high. Now let's talk a little bit about that because first off, you have a severe thunderstorm uh, set up. Uh, that means instability. A lot of times, a, uh, some type of a trigger or a kicker, like a cold front coming through. But then on top of that, uh, when you start to see low level shear, this big twisting motion at the surface, that's when you start to see your tornado risk going up. So you have those storms and then those storms potentially can turn into tornadoes due to that shear that I was talking about at the surface. We're seeing high levels of shear going on and that's going to be the concern as the stormy setup is there. So we are going to have at least right now, it looks like the data coming in is saying, hey, there's going to be this heightened risk of tornadoes as these storms come through. Uh, because of that, we're already under that slight risk. Look at just how big this area is. And I do expect tomorrow morning as things are updated that we're going to see a big portion of our area and it's probably going to look very close to this where we're going to see a uh, level three. We're level two right now out of five, where we'll see a level three out of five uh, coming into play. So we're going to watch closely. We'll let you know what's going on there as the potential for some really nasty weather and storms will be here. We could be, they call it an enhanced risk of severe weather under that for tomorrow. So we'll start to see rain showers could be as early as seven o'clock in the morning in places like Pittsburgh. Some heavy showers up there along and just north of I-80, similar to what we saw on Wednesday. Then we'll get a couple of lines, waves of storms coming through. A lot of these could be here as soon as two, three, four o'clock in the afternoon, and we'll continue to have a storm chance with some fast moving storms uh, rolling through all the way up until eight o'clock on your Saturday. Today, those looking fantastic. There's some clouds out there. 77 your temperatures at this time. Uh, Got to get right over to your forecast. Here's the rest of the day. 86 your high. Put the two o'clock temperature there at 83. Eight o'clock temperature also at 83. Here's your seven day. First alert weather day Saturday. Please be weather aware throughout the day. 79 your Sunday high warming up just in time for the 4th of July next week.